presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you were 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Hi everyone, Basil's Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien and I'm the host of the Tiger Technician's Hour at 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and also the author of the opening call daily newsletter. What are we looking at? We're looking at the Dow, down 312 points at 34,425. Look, Friday, a rally attempt fails, closes down five, over 500 points. Uh, that was Thursday. Friday, tries to rally, fails, closes over 500 points down and holds this Orange line on the left here, this is the daily chart, 200 period moving average. Today it's gone right through and it's turning the 200 period moving average of 34,600 into short term uh, resistance. If it goes above that, that's good. But right now you've got to be watching it closely. This arch formation, let me just do this quickly. This is the part of the technique that I use. I straight line up or down, that's one. Cup formation, that's two. Arch formation, that's three. Come down sharply, make the Arch formation, take out that left side low. It's red because that can be very serious to the downside. On the bullish side, reverse Y, take out that left side high after a move up. That can be very positive. What are we looking at here? We're looking at the first one from the Dow high of 36,952 on the 5th of January. Comes down to 35,639, tries to rally and then fails at the first peak and makes that H pattern and plummets. Goes all the way down to 33,150 on the 24th of January, and it rallies up and it stalls. And now you can see this is what I call a Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It went above it for one session to 35,824 peak C, and now it's failing. This is really an important moment because the pattern, you, I'll show it a little bit better here on the S&P, here on the daily chart. Well, first of all, you've got the weekly chart of the Dow. Look, the weekly chart, sell mode in the daily, sell uh, a sell mode in the weekly chart, and the monthly chart, we're just going to wait for, we have to wait for all of February to get a, a, a lock on the actual closing price of February's monthly chart. And now we're going to go to the S&P, and the S&P is a little different. This pattern here, where you make that H pattern, but hold quite nicely, uh, nicely above the low, in this case, 4222.62, it says there could be another bounce, and that bounce could go to a second arch formation, making what I call a lowercase h to lowercase m pattern. In other words, we're in a rectangle formation. Today's low of 4364. If we take out 4358 on a closing basis, that's going to be negative. It says, it says be careful because the next level of support is right there on the 28th at 4292. Let's go to the QQQ and the X100. Uh, trying to rally here, it's down 43 cents at 346.56. It's not looking too great, but it, just on the day, it's not looking too bad. So sell mode in the daily, sell mode in the weekly, and I, I'm real close to a sell signal in the monthly. We have to wait for all of February to complete. But all I can say is that a close below 340 in the short term says, wow, be careful. That 334.15 of the 24th beckons. IWM. IWM is trying to uh, rally to the 106, 159 level, 200 period moving average at 156. It's really struggling. It's it's kind of the laggard of the group. Let's go to gold. Gold is acting spectacularly here. Now, I always consider gold to be a, kind of a geopolitical fear factor. Um, it, it's really an icon of what, what many, many people around the world go to whenever there's geopolitical turmoil. I wonder if there is right now. Oh, yes, of course there is. So we're looking at the gold up 30 at 1872. What's interesting is that silver is having a very nice rally. It's also up 1.64%. Silver is up 
2.12%, up 50 cents in 23.87, just stopping dead at this orange 200 period exponential moving average in the daily. The weekly chart says, hey, it's just stuck in a range. And the monthly chart says, ooh, not a very good chart. So that's why I'm saying I think gold is quite specific. And if you, if you want to know why, I say that because, look, the dollar is rallying. Usually they work in inverse, like counterpoint in Bach music, where one line goes up and the other one goes down. This is 96.34, up 26 ticks. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's within this rectangle formation. So um, um, gold is acting quite well. Now if we go to the crude oil, here's the issue. Crude oil is not just a transitory thing. Crude oil is impacted because geopolitically, there's a lot going on, and we are not the producers of, of um, um, petroleum anymore. We've, we've relinquished that very momentary uh, uh, title, and now we have to look to around the world, and crude oil is saying, with what's going on right now, uh, it's acting extremely well. It's a 94.70 up $1.60, I would say, just on the shorter term. Uh, any close below 88.50 would say, okay, now we're having a bit of a dip. I don't know why it would do that right now. It still seems to be in play. And here's the daily, the weekly is strong, and the monthly is broken out in the leg E above the October of 2018 high of 85. 65. What we're also looking for right now is what's going on with bonds. For goodness sake, the history, I always think that when the market gets volatile, when stocks are being uh, sold off like they are over the last month, money tends to migrate from the volatility weakness of stocks into the so-called safety of bonds. Not this time. So therefore, I am going to say this time is different. And in fact, there's a chart that I will show. Maybe I'll have a little a, a chance in a, in a little while uh, to, to show the chart. Um, during the break, I'll set it up and we'll see if we can look at it. And that's my triple yield chart showing all the different yields as well as um, with the iShares of the Global Timber and Forestry ETF and the Philadelphia Housing Sector uh, Index. We'll look at that in a moment. But what I wanted to also say is that the volatility index, this VIX index, is trading up um, 2.18 at 29.54. It went to 32.04 today. And this is the first time I've included Russia in all these years with, with my titling of these big spikes up. Look at this in the monthly chart. All these big spikes to the upside. Um, I, I used, it used to be the Greek crisis back in 2011. It was China and domestic uh, and interest rates back in, uh, what is it, uh, that was... August of 2015 hits uh, 53.29, higher than the Greek crisis at 48, and then it pulls back sharply to the 8.84 level. This is the volatility index. Spikes up to the 50.30 higher yields to, uh, on the uh, uh, February of 2020. That's both, again, yields, tariffs, China, uh, the Saudis we even included. And then there was a whole thing with impeachment back of the high of 36.20 in 12.20, that's December of 2018. And then it pulls back, and then we had that whole coronavirus business uh, fed, huge spike to the upside, 85.57. And that was March of 2020 when the market made its low on the 23rd of 2020. Now we'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting for Tom O'Brien. This is the Tom O'Brien Show. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, we're back. Basil Chapman, sitting for Tom O'Brien, and we've got a bunch of questions coming in. I'm going to try to deal with them. One was about rates. What do I think? Well, I, I'm not going to think. I'm just going to tell you what I'm looking at. And what I'm looking at is the high of 3.455, 34.55 on the 2nd of, uh, that's a weekly chart, 2nd of November 2018, goes tumbling down to I believe the low was, I might be wrong, but I think it was 11.97, 1.197, and that was the week of the uh, 13th of uh, March of 2020. And ever since then, we've been going up. Now, what we have here is the triple yield, uh, my weekly triple yield chart that I usually show my uh, subscribers when I do my uh, weekly overview. When I did my overview yesterday, the video, I, I, I just forgot to, I had it then, I just forgot to talk about it. Um, what we're looking at is the yellow, the white is the TYX, that's the 30-year T-bond yield. The brown is the TNX, that's the 10-year, and that's where, you know, credit cards and uh, auto loans, all that, a lot of the, the um, interest-bearing uh, components of whatever you're looking, whatever you're buying, that's kind of where the, the rate is fixed. And the, the cyan one, this light blue, is the... FVX, the five-year treasury note. Look how close they are. One point, so it's 19.18, 1.918, and 19.96. I mean, that is really close. And now you've got the five-year, and if you look historically back, look how wide the spread has been, and look how narrow, and when you go all the way to the, the cluster high that was made, way back at the top, that's where everything was very close. And you get, you know, the, this talk about what's going to happen if, uh, will, be, will there be uh, some kind of divergence here that really impacts the market, as often happens when yields get out of whack. I, all I can say is, let's just watch this closely. We haven't gone above the major yield high in the 30 year from the 19th of, that was the week of the 19th of March, 2021. And that was at, uh, what did I say? Well, I think I said it, I didn't. 25.05, uh, that's 2.505. Once you start to break above that, this is then we're in new territory completely. Not new uh, historically, but new for the, for, the, for the most recent three years or so. Okay, that's number one. So we're watching the yields, and the yields are starting to impact. And as I said, normally when markets are very volatile, coming down, 
and your key stocks are pulling back, money just comes right out and goes into bonds because it started for 11, 12, 13 years. We've been looking at um, the yields going down. I called it the Japanization of our yields. Um, and I called it that for at least the last uh, 20 or more years. And I think things are, might, might now be changing. I stopped calling it that way back in November of last year. Um, and I think there's a change. Now, look at the wood, the iShares Global and Timber Forestry ETF, holding very nicely near the highs. 98.98 was the high that was made uh, back, I think, um, maybe June of last year. Now we're looking at it stuck and it's ranging in the 90.67 area, down 92. But look. This is not bad action, considering when it's consolidating for about a year now. When you're looking at um, the HGX, which is the Philadelphia Housing Sector Index, uh, sorry, it's called the Philadelphia Housing Index. Look, we, today we broke underneath for the first time of this rectangle formation. Remember, rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. We did I just see one. Oh, right here, look. A rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Here we are watching the, look at the rectangle formation between about 43.90 in the E-mini S&P, a one minute chart, and about the 43.70 level. We've been stuck there since 2.30. I mean, this is the, the futures that have been all over the show. This is also giving you the importance of the 200 period moving average. Look, this is on a one minute chart. Did you need it before? No. But look how important it is. It just keeps the, the price keeps stalling right at that level. What's more important, if I show you this 200 period moving average, uh, here we go, whoops, right across. This is the uh, 10 minute chart. Okay, uh, really good signals right at the 200 period moving average, a peak F right about 44, uh, 80 something, and it comes down, down, down. You don't even care about the 200 period moving average once you start to fall, but once you get close, look what happens. It becomes a repellent at a peak D. Fourth highest peak, peak D is always where we get a little careful. So I just wanted to give you a couple of, you know, some of the techniques that I use in the chat wave methodology. Now let's get back to our story and I've got a bunch of questions coming in. Uh, one question was, where did I see it? Just now. I'm not sure if it was a question, but someone had said to me, what about the auto companies? Uh, maybe it was in my show and I didn't have time to do it. What about the auto companies? Well, look at this. Um, let's go to the electric. So Tesla makes an all-time high of 1243.49 way back in um, May of, uh, uh, sorry, the 5th of November of 2021. And he has the 200 period moving average in the dreaded H pattern. Will it fail and take out the 792.01 level? This is the big question, right? So Tesla is in a sell mode in the daily, sell mode in the weekly. I, I'm getting close to a sell signal in the monthly, but there's no trigger yet. What about Ford? Also, talking about electric vehicles, wow, they were talking about it going into the high of January the 13th at 2587. We're trading now at 17, down, what, 30 something, almost 30%. At the 200 period exponential moving average in the daily chart, there's the dreaded H. There's the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m and it plunges below. And my, my contention is that this is to do this while I'm talking about patterns that the SP over the next couple of days will know. Um, Zelensky, who was uh, the Ukrainian president, who was um, a comedian before he became president. He made a little joke this morning. Uh, it wasn't such a good joke. He said um, something about um, uh, R R Russia will be uh, coming in on Wednesday. Uh, and then he turned around and said, no, 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 it was just a yeah, you've got to be careful in this environment. Everything's been taken. Look at the whipsawness that we've seen even intraday. Look at that rectangle formation in the one minute chart. So what I'm saying is I'm anticipating there is some support that comes in the next couple of days. Will gold pull back? We'll watch that. Will crude oil pull back? We'll watch that. It might just be temporary and then we get a bounce. And that bounce in the S&P says, if I rally, I've got to go under the over the nine period and the 14 period moving average in the 4470s. I've got to get even higher and I have to try to break that downtrend inside track little mini channel and get above at some point in the next week or so above 4585. Wow, that is, I mean, that's not just 100, that's 200. That is just a lot to do. So I'm anticipating that we're going to see another arch formation, not as high, and then the decline if we see another sell-off because we have three major things. We've got interest rates, we've got uh, the, the, the um, 
I call it Russia rather than Ukraine. It's really a Russian. Uh, in, uh, Russia is in command right now. And the other is the, the idea that we've got interest rates. We've got the all the shipping that's being backed up, I think, is starting to flow a little bit better. We've got the um, Canadian border that's eased, easing, I think, a little bit. So we should see something happening there that at least allows exports, imports to 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 do their usual train of uh, current uh, train of um, selling and buying and selling and buying. That's what you got to do. That's that's what that's what you do, and it's stopped. And we'll see if that can alleviate some of the tension. But we've got a lot going on here. Usually, if there's one thing to worry about, that we've got two or three things. Um, it's an issue. We could even call the price of cr- uh, crude oil an issue. I'll be back in a moment. Basel Champion sitting for Tom O'Brien. Dow's down two seventeen. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Uh, we're back here at this Basel Chapman sitting in for Double Five. My show is usually 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. The Tiger Technicians Hour and my service is the opening call. And what we're looking at, one of the reasons why I've said to subscribers, we just... We, we're whittling away. We're building up a huge cash position for some time. This is one of our greatest uh, cash positions because there will be bargains. And I'd be rather buying with higher lows and higher highs than lower highs and lower lows. And we just got to be ready for that. So let's go. Uh, question about Everest Re. Oh, I can't remember. Their insurance uh, down three at 291.79. This is leg E alternate counts in the. Uh, 
daily chart is holding very well. The technicals are good. The 120-minute uh, chart shows you this trend line resistance. Now, remember, this is where I draw in a trend line. I just join the peaks, and I take, uh, I just take the line. I change it into green at the top, green right there. I change it into red at the bottom, or pink in this case, uh, just so it changes color. It doesn't mix in with the red uh, candles. And I'll pull it back here, just like a, a one-eighth or three-sixteenths or even smaller. There's your channel. That chap wave inside track repellent zone. Look how many times the price has been. You, you went, that's where you set it up. That was that peak B right there in the weekly chart. And that was at about 200 and uh, what is that? 289.68 pulls back to the 14 period moving average. Look at that magnificent walks the 14 period moving average. And it goes to peak C stops dead at the trend line, pulls back. And on last week, it goes right to the trend line and stops and now it's come back inside so so far it's acting very well and all i can say is this for if you ask me the question it means that maybe there's a little you know i'm a little nervousness about it why not do this take a little bit off right now and if you feel no take the amount that makes you feel better if you've had a really good profit in it and it's been a winner it's at all-time highs uh, one day ago uh, just take whatever is you comfortable three percent ten percent fifteen whatever it is and sort of put that back because it's still holding well. It's still in play. Um, I wish I could see if it was um, you mean here. Uh, wait, uh, let me just see. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to tell, tell you what it is. Uh, what does? Uh, can't do that. I thought I'd do it quickly. I can't do it quickly. That's a shame. Uh, oh no, I'll do it right here. What does? R e. R e stock do there it is um r e r e uh, of course it's not gonna be the one time it doesn't pop up the way it should okay uh, uh, all right sorry about that i'll try to find it in, in the next break anyway i think it's an insurance i'm not sure ever it's re maybe it's a reit i'm not sure but it's holding well so if you're a little nervous take a little bit off uh, or you could just say, you know what, if it takes out the low of the day, 289, I'm going to take something off. I would say to you, um, just be very comfortable, and then we'll monitor and we can look at it again during the week, but it's in as big, it could be in this rectangle formation. I've drawn this in before, and it just says it could go down to 275 and still be in a, in a really positive phase. But if you're talking about money management, if you're a little nervous, take something off, but it's actually one of the leaders in this particular environment. So a couple of things that I want you to do. Uh, Pass was asked about. This is Pan American Silver. So look, silver, look at this. It makes, an all it makes not an all-time high, but a high back in 2020. That was in August at 30. Now that we hit 40, 40.11. And now it's, it, it got cut in half. It went right to 20, and now it's bouncing to 24. So this is what I mean. And I think gold is more the play. And I wouldn't be surprised if I'm really saying that gold per se, just the gold bar, I mean, talking about gold itself, is really in play. Yes, you've had some stocks that have done well. So if you're looking, if you're in this, I'd say that's fine. Hold it. I'd have a, a, at least a short-term watch level of 23.50 if it closes under that it could actually go a little bit deeper but if it suddenly spikes to 24.50 and it's a 24.06 now that's the kind of action you want to see so i'm looking at slv which is a silver etf and it's right on the 200 period moving average and if you pull back or go back look at this if you go back historically what's happened is every time that 200 period moving average is broken as support. It tries to go back above and then it pulls back deeper. It goes right to it there, right there. That was in uh, October, November of 2021. And it pulls back. Then it goes above to a peak F and then it pulls back, goes under it. And then it, it did. Look how many times it's gone over the 200 period moving average. It's sitting right on it at this moment. That's a good sign if we can hold there. And, and this is a daily chart. This will be new leg A. A peak A, leg B. So the SLV chart, which is the iShares Silver Trust, yeah, if you're looking to get in, I'd say you can get in right now. I personally would also have a fairly decent stop because if this, once again, pulls back sharply, 
it'll say, you know what, it's not participating with gold. But the fact that gold is moving and silver is actually rallying says to me up 24 cents at 22.07. Yep, it's, it's kind of in play, but the weekly chart says, wow, there's a lot of work to be done. So that's not one of the best things. But if you're looking at, so the question about the GDX. So, of course, this is the Tom O'Brien show. Tom should be here right now talking about his gold stocks, well, I don't know the, the positions that he has, but I'm sure he'll be able to talk about them in a little diff a different way to me. But I'm doing it purely on the technical analysis. Uh, there, there's no fundamental aspect to it that I'm looking at right now, other than the fundamentals is that historically I've always, for those of you who know grandparents or people, you maybe even to this day, that over the generations have, they, have had their lives saved because they uh, saved up gold nuggets and they had them in the heels of the shoe and all that all around Europe, all around the world. And that's how they learned to, and that's how they were able to pay for just to survive. Uh, that's the kind of gold that I'm talking about, gold fear. So I don't see that quite now. But at the same time, GDX is running it's up a little sharper than it had been. It's now up 65 cents at 33.09. It's now above the 200-period moving average in the daily chart. The weekly chart still says, hey, it's just another bounce that, that should fail. And the monthly says the same thing. But the daily is saying, but wait a minute, the stochastic is now up at 75%, close to 80%, which it doesn't get to too often. If we can get there and flatten out, the GDX will continue much higher. But it is at a level where it failed before, and that was on the 20th of, of uh, January at 32.3, uh, sorry, 33.19. It's trading right now at uh, 33.09. The high of the day is 33.10. So it's almost at the high of the day. And that's saying, I'm here at this level because I might be a gold mine, the gold miner ETF, but now some of the miners are starting to move. Not all of them. Let me just see what Royal Gold is doing. RGLD, Royal Gold. Yes, that broke away from the 200 period moving average in the daily. And now the weekly chart is just about to test the uh, rectangle highs. Look, there it is. Uh, good. Okay, so Royal Gold at uh, 109.41, up $1.17. I am calling it leg E, but it is acting quite well. And that makes the whole 106 to 104 area extremely strong support at this particular time. All right, we did a bunch of those things. A great basil. Estimations, are they ready to nibble on? You know, I, I'll talk about that as soon as we get back, because I'm going to go back to the, the cars. You remember, I, I went to... Uh, Tesla, Ford, and then I, I got diverted because of chart patterns. I'm just going to tell you that uh, the semiconductors worry me a lot. I'll be back in a moment. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Hi, folks. We're back. So AEM was a question that Agnico e Eagle Lines... 52.55 uh, up 2.80 right now that looks fantastic in the daily chart then look at the weekly chart and says you know we've seen this percentage gain then it pulls back makes lower highs and lower lows is this different well the on balance volume screamed up that's a good sign the magd did turn up that's another good sign stochastic at 25.97 is not a good sign and that says well wait a minute what if the stochastic is going to go over 80 percent with which you love well that means that you're going to get a huge move in agnico eagle but if it stalls here again, that's a problem. So just make it as simple as possible. It's at 52.54 uh, 52, right now. And uh, I'm not sure the questioner has it. Uh, if you're holding it, I would say that's great. The first stop on a small position that I would have right now would be towards the lower part of today's um, um, action. See, so if it takes out 51, it's at 52.54 in the next day. So that's a really lousy action. You want to see it. So would you add? Um, if you're going to add, this is the risky part because in the next two days, we could suddenly have an amelioration of the tensions right across everything just for a couple of days. And then gold will pull back quickly and, and crude oil could even start to pull back. The VIX could pull back. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying that's what you've got to be prepared for. So if you've got a good position and it's doing well, the only way I would add is I'd probably either add an option yeah, it's at 52.52. I'd add is in the money, 52 option. And I'd go out, what is the next option? Yeah, you got the whole of uh, March. Yeah, so i do that. Uh, wait, February is coming up, right? February the 18th. Yeah, so I wouldn't go to 18th. I'd go to March. And that's one way to do it. I do think from the action that I'm looking at right now and the, the technical action that is going to be, if it can get to 53.50, then the high that was made in Agrico Eagle on the uh, 20, 20th of January of 54.92, that, that can then be tackled. The other thing is I don't want to see a peak C right here with a sharp pullback because the next D has to go all the way back above that high. It has to go to the 55 level. Or else it's going to become a failure pattern. So, uh, fine. Question about Walmart. Uh, Walmart, you know, I'm, I'm very nervous about this. See the rectangle formation, how long it can last from the high that was made in Walmart. Oh, I forgot to type that in. About 152 round number high back in November. It plummets down to 134, and then it gets stuck in a rectangle and then arches over in the dreaded H pattern. In the weekly chart, the same thing. Look at the monthly, a big H pattern. And this is really the issue that I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, look, the RTH which is the Van Eck retail ETF where 20% is Amazon, is right on the 200 period moving average. It's made umpteen dreaded H patterns, failure patterns. It was at 199.65 for two sessions high on the 22nd of November and the 21st, I think. And it plummets down to 170, then pops up to 185. It gets repelled below the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. And look where it is. And that's with Amazon. Look where Amazon is. Amazon should have had a spectacular um, 
season going to the end of the year. But I think Walmart took some of it. I think a lot of people, a lot of companies did. And Walmart, uh, Amazon's at a very important level right now. So if Amazon in the next month takes that 2700 it's a 3102 right now, that's going to be a big deal. And then the XRT, which is the S&P retail, this pattern that we've seen, this little arch at the bottom of a big move down, this is the retail that has equal weighting, so Amazon doesn't distort. This is the one that really worries me because um, this is the retail. If you don't get your retail, retail is acting very well. It means there's a slowing of the economy. You've got to be really careful. So that's the reason why I'm nervous. And you see this little pattern here? Look at look at Tesla. Look at look at that. Same arch formation. Look at CTAS. This is Syntas gone to a lower low. This is. Uh, a 461 uh, number back in the uh, high back in uh, 2021. It, it's now at a low of 371. I would say 100 points, that's 20%. And that's Sintas overalls, uniforms, rentals. Uh, I'm just saying this is where you got to be really, really. Look at Cisco. I was fascinated. Cisco. <clears throat> they the, the game last night, uh, the football game, I think that Cisco had a big deal. Here it is at the low, the most recent low, 64.29 on the 29th of December. It's trading at 53 right now, down 12 points, almost, what is that? That's about uh, 16, 18%. And then another one that was uh, advertising, advertising, advertising through a golf game that I watched yesterday was, um, uh, what was that? Uh, we had Amazon, oh, oh, WB, uh, WM. This is waste. They don't call themselves waste management anymore. Nobody could do that. It's called WM Inc. Trash removal peak in the monthly. This is trash removal. They never fail to make money. It looks like this is it. So I, I'm kind of concerned that I'm looking at some key ingredients that usually precipitate, precipitate bigger moves to the upside. Now they seem to be doing the same thing, but to the downside. So that just makes me uh, a, another reason. Uh, CRM. What I don't know what sports event I was looking at recently, but Salesforce was everywhere. They they were sponsoring it, the Olympic Games, something. I don't know what it was, and they make an all-time high at three hundred and eleven point seventy-eight on the 9th of November, and they're trading right now at two hundred and six. This is just telling me that something's going on that is a little bit different. So um, I'm and T R O W. I've been speaking about this and to subscribers for forever. It did a double. These double tops are amazing. Two two four point oh four back in twenty twenty one. Uh, six seven eight weeks later, it goes right back and it goes to two two three point twenty six within a, less than a dollar of the all timer, and then it plummets. We've seen so many of these. So Tro T Rowe Price actively managed funds programs. See, this is a little different to the brokerage companies. This is a company that actively manages funds, and that says a lot of people are getting out, and that's the reason I think why the IAI is holding so well. The iShares Broker Dealer and Security ETF. I think a lot of people are doing their own investing. And some of those big funds are starting to, let's just see, just uh, Hood. Hey, Robin Hood is down at the bottom. So this is very select. And this is what I'm saying. Even within sectors, you can get this bifurcated or trifurcated market with some stocks. And you look at RHI. This is Robert Half. Up near the all-time highs. This is Robert Half Jobs. It's really important that they do well because we want to know people are looking for jobs. Well, they just made a little bit of a high and they pulled back. We're going to be watching this one really, really closely. So um, with that said, before we go to the break, I want you to do something and I've written it down, written it down, written it down. Yes. So back to the, back to the order companies. So the semiconductor, everywhere you read, they're having trouble getting cars because of the lack of semiconductors. So you're looking at Ford. You're looking. We showed Ford earlier on. Look at that big move down from 25s to on the 13th of Jan. Here we are. Less than a month later, we we're at 17.43, right on the 200 period moving average. Look at General Motors. Goes all the way from the 65, 66 area. It's trading at 48 right now. It's under the 200 period moving average. Uh, look at Goodyear Tire. Look at your tire. Look at that move. I couldn't understand actually why it was holding so well. Look at your tire and rubber. It had a smash from the 22s to the 
14th, 15th on Friday, and Gary's at 15, I can find this was at 24. So and you can see why I'm getting a little precious about a little more precious about. I'll be back in a moment, Bowser Jack City, for Tom O'Brien. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, right, folks. This, see, this is what I mean about this particular market. There are occurrences that are a little bit unusual and then they become a little bit more unusual. Look, the Dow is down 191, the S&P is down 21, and the VIX index is kind of almost at the low of the day, 28.98, 28.48 was the low. It hit a high of 32.04. So, but the fact that it's holding above the 28, certainly the 27 area, but it's in the 28, is a sign that says there is fund managers are buying insurance. They are buying this. That's why it's moving up. You've got to respect that. At the same time, You've got to look at areas that are starting to show that they, they're holding a little bit better. They're in the bigger picture. I keep my eye on the SLX, which is the uh, the steel ETF, Van Eck Vector steel ETF. Look, it's holding way better than most of the others, but it's still towards the lower range. If you look at the weekly chart and the monthly chart of, of its recent uh, trading band between 67 and 50, it's trading at 57, 31. But these are the clues. You want to keep your eye on a Disney because if there's going to be some kind of social recovery, 
Disney is holding quite well yet, 151. If it doesn't uh, slide under 140, close under 144 in the next week, and instead tries to raise to 154.5, that's a good sign. If you're looking at just this, the U.S. airline index, U.S. Global Jets ETF, up two cents at 22.19 on the 200 period moving average. Can't break away from that. But if we're going to get some kind of socializing recovery back to normal, these are the areas you want to look at. Look at Airbnb. Uh, a big move uh, down from its high at the 210 ish area, goes to the one th 130s. Announced at 169, yes, another one. If instead of breaking down at 169.76 right now, if it closes under 153 or 150, yeah, 153, 10 points lower, that's a that's a sign that says be real careful. But what if it starts to trade in the 178, 182 area in the next two weeks? That would be a good sign, a recovery sign. There are things to look for right now. Cash is looking, keeps the cash in, just be ready. Was the big turn down. Have a great day. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye.